17. It's day 17 of Vlogmas. You can hear the vacuum cleaner upstairs. I was up and at him early. I met a girlfriend for coffee by her pool at 7 o'clock this morning, but I took a croissant with me, so I, um, I enjoyed that. It was good to catch up with her for Christmas. Um, I've been home, I've been catching up with my cleaning lady for Christmas and she loved her gift, so that was great. She's bought me some baking and she's bringing me two dozen fresh eggs from her hens for Christmas, so that's also fabulous. And she's going to share with me her eggnog. Um, and now my husband's having a motorbike delivered and I, I hope it's a bike that I've already seen because if it's a new one, I'll be putting a bow on it. Check this, check this dog out, honestly. Edwina, what are you doing up there? Alfred, talk to your sister. Luckily, this is one that he already has. One. Okay, so bike delivery done, Christmas catch-ups done, house being cleaned, yes. What's on today? Not a lot. So today we are going to do my Louis Vuitton unboxing from the holiday party. And thanks so much to everyone for engaging on that video. And um, I'm really happy that you're enjoying Vlogmas. It's, it's good to know because I know there are a lot of people that uh, message me on Instagram who say they're enjoying Vlogmas, but I don't see them in the comments. And um, for whatever reason, people don't have Google accounts or YouTube accounts or what have you. So it's been really nice to see people um, say that they're enjoying Vlogmas. So thank you very much for that. Okay, so, so many people uh, have been interested to know what I picked up at the Louis Vuitton cocktail party. So I thought I'd do a little sit down unboxing in the bedroom just to keep changing up the scenery because I know you're seeing a lot of the same thing. I just had a bit of a work meeting so I had to like do a little zhuzh. Um, again, everything by Hourglass today. I just love this really natural, dewy look. Um, I've got my Prada scrunchie in but you wouldn't be able to see it. Maybe just there. Can you see it? Just there. Um, yeah, so, you know, feeling some black vibes today but it's actually showing off the colour that I did get when I was up at the Sunshine Coast the other week. So, yay for black, yay for black. It always like pops the tan, which is kind of intuitive for summer, right? So um, before I do this, it's actually inspired me to, um, well, I was inspired to do it because I went for a vicarious trip to Paris this morning. So between when I spoke to you last and now, I've obviously had my um, work meeting, I watched Amelia Rose's Paris vlog and she had so much luxury shopping content and a big stash of Louis va Louis bags of Louis bags um, shopping bags for her and her bestie so I'm um, looking forward to her unboxing so if you haven't seen her Paris vlog check it out and then Leslie Adina uploaded her Paris vlog from late November today as well and honestly her footage is sublime and her edit is just gorgeous, like really slow panning shots, her walking through areas, her fashion, um, the music she chose. Um, there's a little bit of luxury in there, but she had a an Hermes special that she's already uploaded and she's got a Louis Vuitton Place Vendôme. I think um, vlog to come as well and she got lots of footage of both of those so if you haven't um, come across Leslie Adina please go and check out her channel I will link both Amelia's video and Leslie's video in the comments in the comments in the description box down below but um, yeah if you can't get to Paris or you're dreaming of Paris you can go to Paris with these girls because they did a brilliant job of taking me to Paris I loved it and I want to go back 
but that weather looked ugh. That's why I'm a summer holiday girl. I'm happy to see the holiday decorations by other people, but um, I want warm weather on my holidays always. Thank you. So before I get into it, um, I've got my advent calendars and I also wanted to do a first impressions of this one as well. So I will do that. Um, just a very brief first impressions, I suppose. Um, and I'll do, I've, I've got a lot of content to film after Vlogmas because um, I've been buying a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's been better interacting with you guys and um, you know, the questions that you're asking through Vlogmas actually give me some great ideas for videos. So I'm excited to do that. So I've got day 17 of the Penny Parcel Advent Calendar. Please don't be tea. What is it? Chocolate? It's chocolate. A deliciously soft and creamy peppermint center enrobed in a decadent 70% Peruvian cacao. That'll go in the gifting basket because I do not like peppermint in my chocolate. I've got this basket of things that I just put stuff that I add to little gifts because I don't see a point in things going to waste. So that'll go in that basket. From Adore Beauty, yes, I'm making up my own rolls. Thanks to Ash who tried to save me from myself. It's okay, Ash. I got this. <laughs> um, what have we got here? Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Ooh, in peach. I don't know this brand. I am going to um, put that on now, actually, because I've got my Dua Lip Glow on, but I could always do with more. Oh, look at the packaging. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you see it's got a bit of colour in the balm there. Let's give that a go. I nearly missed my lip then. How embarrassing. I think I did miss my lip. Hmm, quite natural looking. Excellent. Happy with that one. Not so much the chocolate. Peony Parcel blah, blah. The Peony Parcel started out really, really well and it's been great. But that tea and now this chocolate, I hope this is not a sign of things to come. All right. Let's get to the Louis, Louis, Louis unboxing. So you can see here, I've got Mr. Louis Vuitton himself. This is actually quite a dashing picture, isn't it? But when you look at it this way, you can't really see what it is, but if you do that, you can see his um, lovely face. So it's nice to get some of the holiday packaging. There was also the smaller bags just said Louis on them. Um, they didn't say Louis Vuitton, they just said Louis in a larger print. All right, what should we go for first? So I have, ooh, I have two two little things to open um let's be counter and open the big one first shall we because everyone opens the little one first i'm going to open the big one first okay proof of purchase <gasps> but it's so pretty okay sorry I just take these moments for myself. Look at all that ribbon. All right. Ready? Oh. Okay. I don't usually get tissue paper from Louis. Not for these sorts of things. But then again, my SA is beautiful. Any ideas what this could be? There was a little hint in the vlog. Okay. Okay. I got the same as Connor. I got the Pochette Voyage in the Sunset. I was actually chasing this for a little while and I had hesitated 
isn't it just stunning it's a stunning stunning clutch like it's so beautiful i think you could use this for so many things anyway i'm getting carried away and then when we were told that dear darling virgil um had passed away i was like i better get on to my essay about this quick smart because there's not going to be anything available and me dilly dallying on this was a mistake and there was nothing and then at the cocktail party the take three maybe this spot is like has got bad mojo or something the first take something happened with the camera and it stopped recording and it didn't save the file the second take something happened with the mic this is the third take i had been eyeing this off for quite a while since he went and pre-ordered it actually and i thought oh how do you feel about me copying him <laughs> anyway he was all for it of course then I saw it in boutique a couple of times and I didn't even request to look at it because I'd been picking up all these other things and I don't know if it was just for this event or what but when I walked into the boutique it was in the window display just at the front and I'm like oh, I need to see that I need to see it because I'd obviously checked out Connors so I love this I love it for many reasons I love the size I love the fact that this is made as a catch-all for traveling and I will show you some of the details close up so you can see the hardware I love the silver hardware I love the colors I love this kind of navy leather trim look at the zipper like it's substantial right because it's from the men's line um, the shape is really easy to carry but unlike a toiletries bag this one is actually made for like a travel wallet so to speak for a man this is made in Italy and inside you can see it's lined with like just a fabric lining and then you've got all of these card slots on the one side so there's like one two three so there's six card slots on this side all in leather oh hold on there we go so there is the item number if you if you are inclined to purchase and then there is a slip pocket behind all those card slots as well which is pretty deep so it is a fabric lining so it's not ideal for toiletries but you could definitely put toiletries in it um, you know you just be careful with things that have got alcohol in them because they might um, move through it but I see this as a fun grab and go clutch something that I can throw everything in and just head out and have a bit of fun and a bit of color I see it as something that I could put into I know you're gonna hate me saying this into my beach bag and just head up to the cafe and grab a coffee or something else perhaps um, and I also see it as a piece of what Virgil bought to Louis Vuitton something that I really like though not something that I've bought just for the hell of it and I I just adore this combination of colors and if I could have gotten this in a handbag of some description I like this better than the watercolor to be honest because it's more well it's cooler colors and um, I think it's a bit more practical as well but this canvas is just beautiful like just look at how gorgeous that is and this kind of cloud transparent LV print and it's one piece that goes all across the purples it's just stunning absolutely stunning so I will absolutely treasure 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 this piece but I that doesn't mean that I won't use it all right the second little piece that i have here now let me just see this is the little gift card piece so just make sure <laughs> there's a blank gift card in there so that's a cute little addition so i'm just going to flick that off the side and it's again got the holiday little packaging on the front i'm going to open the drawer Ooh, it's little and it's in one of those lovely dust bags 
I wonder what it could be. Actually, you know what? I don't even know what it is. I need to check what it <laughs> what it says on the receipt because they literally just came into boutique that day. Okay, yep. Gotcha. So I have continued. Oh, hear that? I've continued on my uh, obsession with Louis Vuitton earrings. These are the Louisette in rose studs. So just check that out. Now, I wouldn't have looked twice at these ordinarily, but my SA was wearing them. She was actually gifted them from the boutique to, um, I don't know why, but she was gifted them. Well, not from the boutique, but from Louis Vuitton. And I noticed them immediately because she's usually like quite classic. And um, and she was wearing the ones with the gold. There's a gold stud with the silver um, backing. And I was like, wow, they really caught my eye because they're, they're cla classy, like, but edgy. And what I liked about these is they have the pearlescent um, stud, which I always wear a pearl in my front well, most of the time I do, um, with the silver in the back, which I love. So I thought these would be perfect for me, and they were so new. So I'm going to put them on and show you so that you too can see. Wow, that's a big post, isn't it? Look at that. I suppose it needs to be because it's got to go all the way into that earring because they are quite heavy, these. Um, Oh, that went on so easily. All right, so I will put them both in and I'll show you. All right. So can you see? Oh, say can you see? <laughs> so you need to get the side profile here. How fabulous are they? I love them. I love how edgy they are. They're so good. If you look at it from that side. There we go. So that's the side profile. They are so cool because you've got these fabulous pearl studs and then you've got these like, and they kind of sit all around your ear and um, yeah, I'm going to wear them today, I think, because they're so much fun. I'm, um, I'm really happy with these two pieces because you can tell, like, this is just the worst video because, because my technology is annoying me. But um, I love these two pieces for different reasons. This is the kind of thing that I like to buy from Louis Vuitton, something that is a bit edgy and a bit unusual and uh, it's a modern take on a classic and these earrings are a modern take on a classic Virgil was a modern take on a classic I mean what he's done for Louis Vuitton will remain forever a part of its heritage and it's not it, it, it's fundamentally changed the brand and its reach and its customer and I think that is you know, it, it's outstanding what, what he's done. And to have a piece of that, and we'll have a couple of pieces of that now. <laughs> I am a very lucky gal. Um, similarly, and that kind of leads me into my first impressions of the trunk clutch. It's a modern interpretation of a classic. So a few things that I just wanted to mention um, in my first impressions of the trunk clutch. Firstly, have a look at that hardware and I've used this bag three times at least. I do have one little hairline scratch on it, um, but hardware can always be replaced on these bags too, so it's just something worth noting. I, look, spoiler alert, it's a double thumbs up from me, this bag, for a number of reasons. One, look at it. It just looks beautiful. You know me, I like the done but undone style, and I find that this clutch I still want a petty mail actually and I will um I'll insert a picture of the petty mail that my essay was wearing 
at the event and if I was going to buy a Petit Mao, that would be one that I'd look very, very closely at. Um, it's just gorgeous how it's got the monogram and the black and the pink and the white. That's just stunning. Uh, however, I chose this first for a few reasons. One, it's like two and a half thousand dollars price difference. Two, it is great for daily use. So as well as being a, uh, a clutch that's great for the evening, it's great for daily use. Uh, I thought I would get annoyed with the fact that um, you've got to open the S-lock and then open the zipper. But what I tend to do is just leave the zipper open and I'm just very careful about finding the latch so that I don't let the little tab scratch the hardware. So I leave the zipper open. Um, in terms of wearing it, crossbody or otherwise, I haven't really, so I can't. I don't know what's going on, but if you end up seeing this part of the video, it means that the other video just cut out and I threw my toys out of the cot and then it miraculously came back into my feed. I don't know what's going on with my technology mojo at the moment, but I'm not happy about it. So where I left off was, I haven't really worn this as a crossbody or on the shoulder because I've used it as a clutch and I've filled it right up. So I love the capacity of this bag. Um, I know that it works really well crossbody and on the shoulder because that I've tried it on in the unboxing. Um, so my first impressions are, what was I waiting for? Why didn't I add this bag into my collection earlier? Um, it's just beautiful. Um, it goes with everything because it is it is the masterpiece. So if you have been contemplating a trunk clutch, uh, I'm here to tell you that my first impressions are I have zero regrets on this. These my Adore Beauty um, parcels. So yes, Adore is the same company. So this is their packaging. Um, it's the same company that I got my advent calendar from. And I always buy my skin SkinCeuticals from Adore, the CE Ferulic. Now I'm going to open this and see what colour it is because everyone told me that mine had gone off, but it was always that kind of colour. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've had dud Ferulics in the past or it's just that colour normally. And the other thing I got was this monstrous big tub of the glycolic scrub that I ran out of. So... I ordered both of those, both were needs. Um, what else have they got in here? They Adore always send you a Tim Tam with your delivery, which is always welcome. Thank you, Adore. And a couple of samples. So depending on how much you spend depends on how many samples you get. So this is a vitamin E mask. That will be coming in handy. And I saw another one in here. Murad blemish control. That will also come in handy. Fabulous. What do you do with it? Oh, it's a gel serum with penta acid, targets blackheads. Okay, excellent. All right, now the other thing that I am doing at the moment um, is I've pulled out all the packaging for my Chanel 19 so that I could um, see what I have with her and um, yeah, film her condition report and start going about listing her for sale so if you are interested in this bag stay tuned so i just opened my ce for all to see if my other one was definitely off and you guys are right yeah the color was definitely too dark so now i will take more notice of what color it is and ditch it before it goes off um if you are interested in purchasing my chanel 19 Watch Vlogmas because inside my Vlogmas there is going to be an ad and I'm not going to advertise it. It's going to be the people who watch that get the first chance of buying that bag. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Just driving into the airport to pick up Mr. Addiction. He landed early. Which is good, because he wasn't going to be home until quite late. And he's off 
dirt biking tomorrow with the guys. <laughs> so, um, as tempting as it is to go and hang out at the, uh, at the track, I say river cruise. <laughs> oh dear. So we'll see if it can manage to let me just turn up without ringing. Because I guarantee you, unless he's on the phone, which is probably very likely because he's always on the phone. Actually, that's the bet that we'll put on, that he's on the phone. Ah, he's ringing. I was right. He was ringing me. Oh, my second bet was going to be, and now he's on the phone to someone else. Oh my God. I know him like, I was going to say the back of my hand, but I don't really know the back of my hand. I'm just going to pull right in here into this tiny, teeny little spot. And there he is. Will you get a glimpse of him? Maybe, maybe not. Let me open up the boot. There he is. Can you see him? <laughs> schnicky, schnicky, Mr. Addiction. And see how he responds to being on the vlog when he gets in the car. Hi, Han. Why have you still got your mask on? We're just there, honey. Oh, hello. <laughs> Does your husband greet you like that? <laughs> when you pick up Mr. Addiction from the airport and he won't even have lunch with you because he ate pretzels. That's when you get yourself a Corona with lunch. Bag of the day. Aussie Institution grilled burger. Grilled. This is the crispy bacon and cheese. I'm going to enjoy this while you watch me eat it. And some chippies. They give you these big steak knives to cut your burger in half. Wow. So I've just poured myself a glass of Riesling because Debbie from Debbie's Dilemmas told me on my video today that it's my 200th video. Can you believe that? No wonder I'm tired. 200 videos. That's something to celebrate. So um, cheers to those who have been with me the whole time and those who've been with me just recently. I love it. It's so much fun. And um, I really appreciate all the engagement that I get from you guys. Um, I think I'm going to leave this vlog here. Here's cheers. I will see you tomorrow on day 18. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We